Alright, so here is the old one that uh, I had in the previous video, so this is useless anymore. I finally got it today after a couple of days. And we're going to be replacing it with this one. Hopefully we'll be able to boot into Windows CD and repair the error. So, let me let me set that up. So this is going to slide into into the slot, empty slot over here and just simply going to slide it in. Oops, I closed it backwards. Kind of now there's this hole right here that you have to fill in with this bigger screw so it can be snuggy in there. And there it is. Get my screwdriver. Simply tie it down. Ready to go. Okay, that's in. That's good. Now we're gonna pop the plate back in. It's quite a simple procedure. I wish all computers were this easy. But there you have it. All right. Alright, so I finally got it all assembled, and now we're ready to boot to the Windows XP CD, and we're going to follow that procedure on that l previous video where I linked the resolution to the Microsoft website. So, we will see what's what, and uh, we'll... Oh, I should boot through, come on. Let's head it, hang on, I'll be back. Alright, so now we're simply going to hit the R key in order to launch the repair system. system and it, according to the solution we have to launch the check system oh where is it check fix instead of oh, we're just gonna fix the boot apparently so oops all right there it is there's a recovery console Did I miss stuff? So alright, after that, it, I simply just fixed the boot sector and wrote a whole new one. Apparently that was a bad one. Or, yeah, I said boot, so there it is. Boot sector is corrupt. Fixed boot is checking for file system type. And now we'll see, we'll restart and see we, if we can uh, you know, simply hit exit. There you go, and see if it works now. I'm going to take this out. I don't think I need this anymore. Okay, let's start normally and see what we get. Hopefully no more blue screen of death. Damn it. Alright, yeah, so it's still bad. I'll be back. Hang on, I'll be back. Alright, now that I'm back, back into into recovery console, now I'm gonna do what's the command? What does the article say? Check, check disk, C, H, K, D, S, K, is that a space for slash R, let's see, oops, I guess not, let me just do a check, you know, let me do it later. Alright, so apparently it found a couple of errors, or where is it, uh, there is found one or more errors on the volume, so we'll see if now we can boot into the system. So now we're going to type exit on the recovery console to so simply restart the computer. Nope, oh, let me get the CD out. Don't want it. It's because I set it up for... There we go. And let's see if it works. So I really don't feel like reinstalling everything on the computer. The easiest way out. Please, let's see. Oh, oh, there it is! So there it is, now we fixed the blue screen of death. Now we're going to be able to boot through the system. 
So now the client wanted some sort of a basic cleanup on here, so I'm just gonna do a little tidying up and color to see that's uh, ready to go. So thanks for watching.